Um, we were talking about XQC because apparently this is the new drama, the new debate. Here's what he said. Dead. Like the, the eminent booba, the eminent booba enjoyer, okay? Literally the horniest motherfucker. Like the, the bazonkers guy who we all know what his fucking TikTok likes look like, okay? He can't get 1810. So what is he doing? Instead of focusing on breaking fucking Forsen's record, instead of trying to fucking go fast, he's just, he's just, uh, you know, drama baiting. Bro, listen, listen, listen. I'm sorry. I respect all creators, I do. I think that, I just think that buying OnlyFans shit is what I think is one of the most degenerational action of a mankind. Brother, just know you bring genuine joy and happiness to people. This is the biggest says you I've ever fucking seen in my entire life, okay? I have never seen a bigger says you moment. I don't even think he believes it personally. Sometimes I think he just says shit that comes out of his mouth, and it's just like, like, he said it's degenerate to pay for OnlyFans. I assume in the most charitable in the most charitable interpretation of this, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that he means he means like, oh, it's degenerate to pay for it when it exists for free. Right? Now, this is hilarious for like multiple reasons. Okay. It's still so funny being a wealthy adult man and still hold the thought that like buying porn is cringe. Okay, dude, you sound like you're making a Justin Bieber gay type joke 15 years after kids were doing that grow up nerd. Yeah, bro, that, but also you're a Twitch streamer. Like we literally make this content for free and people still give us $5 a month to avoid the top of the hour ad breaks. Like that's insane. You know what I mean? I mean, that was an insane debate. That was a 10 10 debate. Uh, at the top of the hour, there's a you know, three minute ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with the Twitch Prime. You can also get gifted a sub if you're lucky. Like, Maddie Codes and Sakura Gore, 20 big ones. Two 20 big ones right there. Timing on that is excellent. Debate, lead up. No inflection change. That's tight. I kept it tight. Here's a three-minute ad break now, baby. That's 40 people that'll no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. Thank you, Maddie Codes and Sakura Gore. See, notice how all these people just subbed for something that's literally free. It's free. Okay? So considering that to be the generational dude is hilarious. Okay? Subbing to an OnlyFans makes far more sense than subbing to a Twitch streamer. OnlyFans get titties at least. Twitch streamer, you might get a shout out. Yeah, you're not. Like, you, you're not. You're literally not even getting a shout out. Like, maybe if you fucking gift subs, but that's it. And even then, if it's too much, I tell you, stop gifting subs, and I stop reading them. You know what I mean? Max. I'm sure Felix doesn't even do that for the gifted subs, because he has even more subs than I do. He probably doesn't even thank the gifted subs, right? So... Nah, people paying for only uh, fans content are coping. Brother, people pay for a million different things on the internet. You yourself are paying as a subscriber, one and a half year subscriber of mine. You're literally subscribed to me for a year and a half for content that is not only free, but it's so fucking free. You could literally take the IP and make your own YouTube channel and make money off of it. Okay. That's how fucking free 99 this shit is which is always laughable that people still yell at me about socialism, by the way, or whatever. But like, you're doing it because you enjoy the content. You're doing it because you want more of it. You're doing it because you want to show support, right? Or a million different reasons. But this is the most fucking free content you can get on the internet, pretty much. And yet people still do it. The only reason why you consider the OnlyFans payment to be degenerate, despite the fact that there's so much free porn out there, is because it's sex work. It's the sexual component that makes it degen. But it's, which leads me to my second part of this conversation, which I find very funny. 
which is that XQC is the king of DGENs. I mean, he has called himself the king of the rats in the past. That was only a 9.18. Come on, man. Some people are just fucking giving low uh, rankings for no reason on that. XQ trying to say that people buy OnlyFans for the girlfriend aspect of it, which is degenerate, meaning he would rather have uh, people jerk off the online porn. Yeah, that if that's the case, and I, th- I would say that this is the most charitable interpretation, there is an element of truth to what he's saying there. Because, yes, if you think that, like, you're actually in a relationship, because I've talked about this before as well. Um, uh, there is, uh, like, I've, I've, I've opened up the fucking hood and looked under the engine uh, of how OnlyFans operates, and there are a lot of sad motherfuckers out there. It's it's basically like the same element of like therapy that exists in in uh, old school prostitution or escorting, right? This is like a very real thing. If you look at different cultures, if you look at like geisha, for example, uh, it's not necessarily just about like sexual gratification, but there is a, a, a an element of like therapy that is included in that. And I think a lot of people utilize OnlyFan for that reason. Now, of course, under capitalism, uh, that shit is like uh, uh, clearly very much outsourced to uh, a uh, a dude working in an in Indian bot farm. So you're not actually talking to the content creator. I know for a fucking fact that that's not the case. Um, opening up the hood is a funny way to say you paid for someone's OnlyFans. No, I... I have been very open about this. Like, I, I don't have an OnlyFans account. It's it's pure convenience for me. Like, I'm just too lazy. Um, I, I, I meant, like, I've seen the other side from uh, way back in the day when I was hooking up with a girl that does OnlyFans. I remember looking at her uh, indirects and looking at her, like, DMs and messages, uh, going through it, and having a, a, a long and, and draw, almost drawn-out conversation about, like, how insane they would become if they actually handled. Uh, like, if they actually truly were the people responding to it. Because a, a lot of the people say insane shit. I've been a sex worker for years, and most of the people who message me just want to talk. Yeah, there's that. But then there's, like, real freaks out there, too. So, on that front, if you truly think you're getting a girlfriend experience, because there are a lot of people who are, unfortunately, very unhealthy, uh... There are a lot of people who literally think that they're talking to the uh, OnlyFans girl themselves. I'm sure certain OnlyFans uh, content creators are personally handling their uh, their messages and whatnot. But for the most part, especially all the top dogs, they're not the ones who are responding to the messages. And the unfortunate reality is that there is an element of like sadness, a lot of sadness there. Um Honestly, watching porn is a DGM, but are paying for it. Now you just have a mental illness, in my opinion. No, why is... Wait, see, this is what I mean. Like, What do you mean? Watching porn is degenerate, but paying for it? You have a mental illness, la mal? <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> no. Um... No, I, I do not agree with this. The presumed emotional labor that has to be done by women or just sex workers in general, it's not always just women, but um, it, is, it is one aspect of, of uh, I mean, it's a medium that serves a specific purpose and that purpose is uh, sexual gratification. Uh, I don't have an issue with it. I think that as long as it's done by, uh, you know, consenting adults, it's great. It's wonderful. Especially OnlyFans gives you more autonomy, even though there are... Uh, processes that kind of fuck that up as well with management firms and and uh, a litany of other complications that come from uh, not being able to like access your finances or not being able to bank adequately when you do this kind of content but but yeah it's uh, it's ridiculous watching porn is haram yeah um you know well I would call what your mom did to me last night haram as well, my friend. But, you know, we both got a lot of enjoyment out of it, so. 
So, don't you agree that sites like OnlyFans and even webcam apps prey on vulnerable men? I'm pro sex work, but still, see, this is my favorite type of of uh, this is my favorite type of like critical of sex work conversation because like the overwhelming majority of conversation that revolves around sex work basically features uh women uh, women being trafficked women being uh groomed women being uh harmed and then like going into sex work which there's a obviously this does happen but that's not sex work that's sex trafficking there's a totally separate classification for it but it's always from the perspective of like how it it, it predates women right I love when someone comes in and goes, it preys on vulnerable men, actually. Have you thought about the vulnerable Johns? Have you thought about the vulnerable men that are like, you know, they, they just can't stop themselves from fucking masturbating furiously? You know what I mean? You got... <laughs> I hate this idea that men are vulnerable to women's sexual charms. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Like, I, I don't. I don't agree with that at all. Um, but ultimately, there is an element of, of, like, if you truly think that the person that you're giving, you know, $5 to see, like, titty pics from, or the person that you're sending specific messages to to, like, make a specific kind of video for you and you only, remember that, like, those girls will take that video send it to you because the management firm will be like this guy's a big guy this guy's a whale okay please film this for uh for this dude who's like giving you you know a lot of money and then they will mass they will fucking literally send it to everyone else as well they will go and say hey sexy i have a new video coming out like if you want to see that it's like a very special one and they message it out they mass blast it to every single fucking person that's like following them i'm just letting you know Lamau, no, not me. Okay, everybody does it, and there's nothing wrong with that, okay? Don't give us a bad name. <laughs> Everyone does it. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just letting you know if you're a consumer, okay, if you're an OnlyFans watcher, enjoyer, whatever the fuck, just know that that's, you know, like, don't develop a, a parasocial relationship. Don't develop a parasocial relationship with content creators on Twitch.tv. Don't develop a parasocial relationship with content creators on OnlyFans. XC was also trying to make the main point of the only reason why people sub to the OnlyFans is for the girlfriend experience. If you didn't want that experience, then you could just jerk off to any hot girl online. No. Uh, that's not true. I think a lot of girls literally, first of all, that's not true. There's plenty of fucking content creators on OnlyFans that don't do uh, content elsewhere. So that's the reason why I'm fairly certain. That's the reason why people go on OnlyFans. Have you actually used it? I think you're wrong on this. I have never personally used it. I have only seen the other side of it. I've only seen, like, I don't have an OnlyFans account. I've never subscribed to an OnlyFans. I've never paid for OnlyFans. Um, I, I've never done that. There is a personalization component, certainly, which is why I mentioned that. And I do think that that is one aspect of it that uh, people should. Uh, that's one aspect of it. The the personal uh, like feelings that you are developing for a content creator is not real. That's what I'm saying. But in a lot of in, in a lot of uh, instances, you're just doing it because, like any other business, everyone has their own standards. Uh, little Liana, I can't speak for your OnlyFans, uh, obviously. But what I'm talking about is, I think, something that you recognize as well. A lot of people that have managers, a lot of people that work with, like, big OnlyFans uh, management companies, yeah, they, they you know, they, they have a bot farm. They're, they're, you know, they have someone else responding to those messages, which makes sense. Like, if you're a top content creator, you're getting, like, thousands of people being like, I love you, you're my girlfriend. You know, that's not, you can't fucking have this conversation with every single person. You're talking about LA OnlyFans girls? Yes, I'm talking about... Some of the top OnlyFans content creators. Okay? Isn't this a gross generalization? How do you know that some models don't fall in love with their pay piggies? <laughs> you don't understand what we have together. Okay, shut up. It's... <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> How would he explain all the men that do OnlyFans, including straight male porn stars that have their OnlyFans and fuck female porn stars on it? Exactly. Exactly. OnlyFans, as far as I understand it, is great for kink. It's great for queer uh, stuff. And it's it's great for like highly uh like it, it's great for other specialized fields and it's also a lot of exclusive content that you get. Um it's it, it's funny that I'm the one who's like caping for it because I'm not a user of OnlyFans. I'm just a straight pornhub, sometimes B E E G dot com kind of guy. You know what I mean? Like I literally am just like I'm such a vanilla masturbator, it's not even fucking funny. Um, yeah, beige can be mid as fuck usually, but I'm such a normie vanilla ass masturbator. I go to the McDonald's of porn to, to fucking jerk off. So it's kind of funny that it's like, yeah, I, I basically Google boobies and, and jerk off to that. It's the equivalent of that. And yet I'm here defending OnlyFans from the perspective of sex workers because I have a lot of friends that do OnlyFans and I've, I've seen, you know, I've seen the other side of it more so. And I certainly understand Honestly, not paying for porn is the most problematic thing I've heard about Hasanabi. I never said I don't pay for sex work. Like, I go to strip clubs as an experience. I've literally been to a brothel, which fucking anti-sex work psychopaths will uh, regularly fucking scream about. You know what I mean? Like, I, it, it's, not, it's not something I hide. I, I think that it's, uh, you know, these are experiences that I have, uh, I have uh, taken part in. But... You know, I've done, I've, I've done it all. So, OnlyFans is good for sex workers on contrast to how women are treated in porn. Um, OnlyFans is certainly better for uh, all uh, sex workers in general because they have more autonomy over what kind of content they want to make. And you also sleep with supermodels. You don't need to be as DJ and low-class masturbator as us. No, that's not true. It doesn't matter. As someone who's done it all, I can tell you with a certainty that, like, you know, watching porn and jerking off the porn is, is fine. It's great. Sometimes you want to go analog. You know what I mean? The fuck do you mean? It's great. It's awesome. Dude, I have friends. I have, I have some friends that are literal pay pigs, okay? I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't know what kind of gratification they get out of it, but they are literally fucking pay pigs. They have sex with supermodels. They date, uh, you know, they date uh, some of the best looking women I've ever seen. And this is, again, heteronormative. I apologize. But then they fucking turn around and literally love pay pigging. Okay. They love it. They enjoy it. It's their thing. I don't know why. I don't know what the fuck it is. But it's one of the most ethical, one of the most ethical ways of, of uh, conducting sex work in general. I know sex workers absolutely fucking love pay pigs, obviously. They don't even have to do anything. They just yell at you and say, give me fucking money. And then they go, yes, here you go. And then they jerk off to that. It's very strange. I don't understand it. I do not understand it. Pay pigs, for the most part, in the industry, in the sex work industry, are seen as like the golden goose, the golden geese, basically. What? Fuck wire brushes donated ten dollars. Said hi Hassan, big fan. Wanted to donate to spread the word to get rid of your wire brush grill brush to clean your grill. I ate at a friend's last week and ended up having to do emergency surgery to re remove one of the bristles from my intestines. Sorry to interrupt. Thank you for the ten dollar dono. Fuck wire brushes. That is I have to read that one because that's the funniest fucking dono I've ever gotten. So, anyway, where were we? 
Uh, do you acknowledge that sex work is often dangerous because the contradictions in capitalism are amplified by the patriarchy? Yes. What? That's like pro-sex worker. What the fuck? This is literally like defending sex work 101. Like th that's not, not even 101. It's like ground zero. Yeah, of course. I love when people come in here and, and, and like when we're having like higher level conversation about sex work and they ask like pretty basic shit. 17 month subscriber. Um, just wanted to know your take because a friend of mine was asking. Yes, I do acknowledge that that is, there is a, a plenty of dangers and only made worse by people who are literally fucking they come in with the most basic love. Like, yes, dude, we talked about this back in 2018. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> they think that sex work is the one thing you aren't intersectional about? No, no. Oftentimes when people ask questions like that, it, sex work is the one thing that they are not intersectional about. That's usually what, uh, that's usually where that kind of conversation comes from. Most people who are pro-sex work or are sex workers know what my perspective is because of my advocacy on the matter. It's usually the... Hassan, you just need to stop beating up trans women, then maybe I'll subscribe. Listen. No. My job is weird sometimes because I can be completely happy and content with my life. But then I have a million bitches in my ear telling me it's so sad that I'm a sex worker. Yeah. Exactly. This is a, this is a, a thing that I hear so fucking frequently from sex worker friends of mine. It's just like one of the most, one of the funniest fucking aspects of this. It's one of the funniest aspects because uh, people will just be like, oh, oh, honey, I can't believe like you're, you're doing sex work. Oh man. It's so, it's so sad. It's like, bro, what are you talking about? Sounds like half of your chat talking about you as a streamer. Yeah. Um, it's so pa uh, patronizing. Yeah. How is that not exploitative? What if these pay pigs just do it because of porn addiction? It's not misogynistic to care about these people just because they're men. Wait, what? Brother, it's a kink. What the fuck do you mean? They say that the women in Artemis were most likely trafficked from Eastern Europe. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. They, they will never... They will... They will never stop with that one. They'll, the, the new meta, the new meta is like, although the Berlin government was forced to fucking literally pay Artemis, the, the brothel that I went to, that's like still in operation. One of the most famous brothels in the fucking entirety of Europe, uh, is, is, uh, had to pay 150 grand in fines, uh, for literally, uh, what the Berlin government did. They still turn around and they're like, well, technically they're contracted. Uh, it's the contractors that were doing uh, uh, sex trafficking. It's like, dude, what the fuck are you saying? Like, I'm not even fucking defending Artemis. Like, fuck the, 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 fuck Artemis, okay? I'm sick and tired of, like, talking about this goddamn brothel. It's so fucking stupid, dude. People bring it up repeatedly and go absolute bananas mode over it too. There's never any truth about it. I don't know how to fucking address it. I've addressed it so many times. Learn your lesson. Don't debate fem cells, swerves. They're bad for your health, bro. Yeah. Fortune shooters on Twitter make up insane shit about this and swerves eat it up. Yeah, they because... Anyway, um, the only aspect of what, uh, if I'm going to be extremely, extremely, extremely charitable to what XCC is saying, 
if he thinks that like the entirety of OnlyFans is about the entirety of OnlyFans is about uh, uh, fucking the girlfriend experience, which it's not. But if he thinks that that's the only thing that it's about, from the perspective of like a person who legitimately thinks that they're in a relationship with a content creator. Yes, it is very sad. It's not the case, and they need to fucking recognize that immediately. Genuine joy and happiness to people who need it. When you're on your death of bed, mankind, you like actually, so bad like, bad like bad legitimately. Nobody. Don't call it is one of the most Weller. deliberate, life-backpedaling, progress-hindering, brain-rotting activity that anybody's ever come up with. Them. Again, incredible that, like, XQC is saying this because, like, you are a peddler of brain rotting activity. So am I. So am I. It's like, it, it's wild. He's on this, like, anti sex work arc. I don't even understand because he's not even anti sex work from what I understand. I, I, would, I would talk to him about it. I would love to hear his perspective on the matter. Does he think he's new? That's what people have been paying prostitutes in the beginning of time? Yeah, exactly. Like, I just don't understand how he can... I'm confused. I'm not even, like, doing the, oh, it's the hypocrisy argument, right? Like, obviously, that shit's funny. Like, the hypocrisy of it is funny. But for me, it's more so about, like, how do you not recognize, like, how can you not empathize with uh sex workers in that same regard because like what we do is is the service that we provide is like not all that fucking different obviously there's no sexual component to it does actually just look for new things to get in drama for i think he's just like fucking cracked out doing 10 hour to 18 hour Minecraft runs non fucking stop. And the, the more he throws his like God seeds on Minecraft, the more his brain fucking melts a little bit and just, just, just starts fucking blurting out whatever the fuck comes to his mind. Am I rot your brain even more? Actually, yeah, I do have a problem. No, I saw this. I mean, this is a meme. I do this shit too. Yeah. So who cares <laughs> that, that part I don't give a shit about. Like it's that's anybody's ever come up with them. He's going, he's doing the groundwork to have a go to counter whenever anyone brings up gambling. Yeah, I think that's basically what's happening as well. Maybe he was a pay pig and the girl dropped him. No, uh, I think that I don't think that that's what's going on. Well, some of that they fucking pay for it. Huh? Whenever a male creator comes out hating OnlyFans girls, I know that they just got their heart broken. No, like, I don't even think he hates OnlyFans content creators. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Your Rage chimed in and defended him a little bit. He said, I don't know why people are surprised with this take. Normal people have always rose to, uh, normal people, people have always been rose for buying porn. This take is normal to the average person. I don't know why we're acting brand new now. More and more people are starting to buy porn, so there's way more people that feel offended by this. Is my idea. I don't know. XUC ain't saying nothing wrong though. Uh, submit to buying. Uh, do submit to buying porn to fulfill themselves instead of putting the work to actually meet people IRL. Shit, crazy, bro. If one day I was extremely horny enough to the point where I needed to buy porn, I gotta just hold them subliminal rows because it's all facts. After and after that nut is busted, you should one hundred percent realize it's all facts. Because after you bust, you just straight logical. Um, I mean that that part is funny, but. I don't really understand. Like I said, uh, I have no issue with people that want to buy it. I say this as someone who ironically doesn't even fucking have an OnlyFans account. Like, I've never bought OnlyFans. I, I, but, like, I get why people would do that. I don't know why people cap whenever I say this. I'm literally, I spent the past hour describing to you that there is absolutely nothing embarrassing or wrong about having an OnlyFans. Why the fuck would I lie to you about this? I tell you what kind of porn I jerk off to on a regular basis. I have no shame on this matter. I literally told you I went to a fucking brothel. Oh, my God. Everybody always caps. Anytime I say I don't have an OnlyFans. Everybody fucking caps nonstop.
Fuck me. Holy shit. Spends all his money on figurines with 50 points of articulation. Yeah, there is, there is truth to that. I also don't know why people will fucking... I mean, I hear this from Swerfs a lot. Well, they'll be like, I'm not against sex workers. I'm against Johns, right? People who purchase sex work. Some of those guys are fucking freaks, certainly. You know why? Because they're dudes, okay? Dudes are freaks regardless. Now, having said that, whenever people go, oh, I'm against Johns, it's like, okay, so what do you want? You want, like, sex work to not be consumed then? Like, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? Like, so how, how will sex workers exist then if no one is, like, uh, able to pay for it? What the fuck do you mean? It's just a way to basically say you don't want sex workers to exist, but in a way that, like, makes you seem more woke and not as, like, openly anti-sex work. Tracer, DVA, or Mercy, best Overwatch porn character? I, can't only, I can only speak for Mercy. I have seen uh, Mercy Overwatch porn, and that was great, actually. Uh. Oh, we got a we got a crime. We got a crime. We got a new crime happening. Question: I know people who are pro sex work but hate password bros. I understand why because dudes are super annoying. But does them but does hating them make you a swerve or is it more because of an exploitation? No, I think it is weird. No, passport bros. Or, like, uh, sex tourism is fucking weird. People try to say that, like, I did it when I was, like, fucking 19 or whatever. When I was already in Berlin and I was like, yeah, I'll fucking go check this shit out. Which is hilarious. Because do I look like I need to fucking go to a brothel to get a nut, you fucking dingus? Shut up, you ugly ass hag. Shut the fuck up. If you're a swerf out here who literally is like, if you're a swerf out here, okay, on your 18th fucking cat you know, doing your yarn work while simultaneously tweeting about the ethics of fucking sex work. And you're like, oh, you're such a sex tourist. You're such a sex tourist. The fuck do you mean? Look at me. Look at me. Shut the fuck up, idiot. Making it seem like I have to do fucking, uh, I have to go and, and, and uh, go to a brothel to fucking uh, uh, get sex work. Oh my God. Your narcissist makes you ugly? No, this is the one aspect that is so fucking unimaginably stupid. Okay? Especially because it's always these fucking weirdo swerves that are like absolutely brain broken. Swerves are sex work exclusionary radical uh, feminist. Someone literally put you on blast for fucking supermodels like five minutes ago. Anyway, um, having said that, though, I do think it's, like, weird. Um, I do think it's... Uh, it, I, do th I do find it strange because, like, when we talk about sex tourism... All of a sudden, you're having a conversation about people living in uh, the first world, going to underdeveloped countries that have been exploited aggressively in the global marketplace to take advantage. And in that circumstance, there are people like the level of the level of exploitation on uh, on on or the likelihood and the level of exploitation skyrockets in that situation. So I do find that very weird. It's okay when I do it, but not okay when you do it. First of all, no, you're a fucking idiot. I literally have spent the past hour and 30 minutes defending sex work, so shut the fuck up. No, it's okay when everybody does it. I just hate that these motherfuckers make it seem like I, I literally am, like, traveling the world to do sex tourism or some shit. 